Hello best friend and a welcome welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having the most incredible day. This is the first time that you're watching my channel. My name is Sebastian and I welcome you guys with open arms. Best friend, I do pop culture videos every day. So if you are looking for a new messy best friend, you have found me. So grab a snack and a drink, hit that subscribe button. I would be so incredibly grateful. Best friend, happy Friday, by the way. I cannot believe that it is already the, like, Friday of the new year. It is insane. Um, Time is going by like this. What are you guys doing this weekend? Let me know in the comments. Are you having a chill weekend? Are you relaxing? Are you working? Let me know. Um, Best friend, we got to talk about Ms. Britney Spears because, best friend, there are a lot of people talking about her latest post where she says that she is no longer going to return to the music industry. Now, we've already talked about it. We've already started our grieving about it, you know, and of course, our understanding that, you know, it's finally time for Britney to do her thing. But some fans believe that she is lying about being a ghostwriter to songs like she posted about. Um... Best friend, girl, what are these pop stars trying to do to us, okay? It is a hard week for the gays. First, Selena Gomez said that her next album is going to be her last, and now pop queen living legend Britney Spears said she's never returning to the music industry. The only me, look, what is going on, bitch? It is hard out here for a damn bottom. Listen, look what Britney said after the rumors of her... Um, talking to Charlie XCX and Julia Michaels about potentially writing and, and helping her with her next album. She says, just so we're clear, most of the news is trash. They keep saying I'm, I'm, I'm turning to random people, not random people. <gasps> oh, she is so shady. I'm turning to random people to do a new album. I will never return to the music industry. <sighs> I need to meditate, bitch. Baby, one more time. Oops, I did it again. Britney in the zone. Greatest hits. My prerogative. Blackout circus. Ben Patel. Britney. Jean and glory. That's how I meditate. Um, okay. I'm never returning to the music industry for those who... Um, oh, I will never return to the music When I write, I write for fun or I write for other people. For those of you who have read my book, there's loads that you don't know about me. I've written over 20 songs for other people the past two years. I'm a ghostwriter and I honestly enjoy it that way. People are also saying my book was released without my approval illegally and that's far from the truth. Have you guys read the news these days? I'm so loved and blessed. Best friend, you know, here's the thing about, about all of this. I think that any artist would be so incredibly honored to have Britney write for them. You know, Britney Spears not only has so much to say she has so many life experiences she has lived 5,000 different lives in this industry she knows the ins and she knows the outs she knows what works what doesn't so I just don't see why she would lie if you go back to her documentaries she says that writing you know she has so many journals that she loves to write that her therapy is dancing and writing so I just don't see how she would lie about something so so incredibly like specific you know what I mean writing over 20 songs for different artists you know I really do definitely believe that I mean she has like I said so much to say she has so much to you know to to get off her chest and she has you know she's had her th many issues with love life with with personal life with fame with family with with self love with with fake friends with the media i mean she has so many stories that she could say and that is something that i feel like you know why i 1000% believe it because i mean who wouldn't want a song from Britney Spears? Now, I would just hate that she would write a song for me and I would have to keep it a secret, best friend, because, I mean, what what more honor than to have Miss Britney Spears, you know, associated to you in your new album, you know? Um, but yeah, some people are really saying that that's not true and that, you know, she's obviously, you know, she's, she's just saying that, but I really do firmly believe that. Now, my question is, has there been a song that's been out that we heard? Like... 
now we have to like kind of do the math. We kind of have to look back at the last songs that have been out for the past 20 or two years for the past two years to see if I mean, if anything sounds like Britney, you know what I mean? Um, listen, she's had so much going on in her life. I, I, I do wish that and this is my selfish, you know, selfish fan wish is that she would release music herself, you know, that she would obviously write her own words and transform that into a powerhouse, transform that into songs that will help so many people around the world. But I 1000% understand why she wants to take a step back. And I'll tell you something and something that really, really, really annoys me is that I feel like when she returned from, you know, everything that happened to her and, you know, the world basically welcomed her with open arms and then quickly turned and started making fun of her Instagram, started making fun of this, started making fun of that. That I feel in my heart played a really big role on her not wanting to return. People were so incredibly disgusting and so incredibly negative towards her and so not understanding and just so impatient that I do think that she's like, why the fuck should I go back to something like this when, you know, I'm finally free and people are treating me this way? You know what I mean? So, so it just goes to show, best friend, that like, you know... I, I don't blame her for not wanting to return. She has to she's had to put up with so much crap with you know from 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 you know the media, from producers, from fans, from family, from just everywhere, tabloids, magazines, that it's like, wh what is the point? What is the actual point for me to return so people can trash me more? First, she deleted her comment section. You know, she 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 um, disabled her comment section. And, you know, now she's saying she's not returning. And now she's completely gone off Instagram. You guys, when those comments were on, the amount of disgusting hate comments that Britney Spears would receive was so incredibly disgusting that I just feel like it is one of those things where, you know, why wouldn't she want to like, why would she want to even stay in this industry? You know, like for real, I can't imagine her like, you know, putting out an album that really means a lot and talking about all her struggles and talking about her, you know, everything and then people trashing it like that must be the biggest slap on the face. And this way, working behind the scenes, she gets to express herself. She gets to do what she loves to do without the media, without the public scrutiny. So I feel like this is the perfect recipe for, you know, a future Britney Spears in the industry. We probably will never know what she does in it, but she knows what she is doing and she is fulfilled with it. You know what I mean? So I'm happy for her. I think it's fabulous. I think that it's one of those things where, you know, I, I, I feel like in time, Britney will, 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 maybe she will change her mind. Maybe she'll do a duet or two, you know, maybe she'll do this, maybe she'll do that. But in the meantime, I think that it's important, you know, she's still in an ongoing court battle. She's still, you know, healing from everything. I mean, I'm sure she's trying to repair her, her relationship with her kids. There's so much more bigger fish to fry than to do another song or album, you know? So I've seen the memes. I've seen the comments. I've seen everything where people are so devastated. And I get it. I, I, I too understand that. But I understand more your peace of mind and your mental and physical and spiritual health and your, your, your healing. Because once you are healed mentally, physically and spiritually, I feel like you can then go out to the world and, and maybe like, you know, conquer other things. But until you are not ready and strong enough and, and like, you know, just kind of like, okay, I'm going to do it. You have to, you have to take time for yourself and you, and you cannot, you just cannot allow anything to trigger you or to put you right back to where you were. You know what I mean? So what do we think? Let me know in the comments below. Do you think Britney was telling the truth? Do you, what song do you think Britney has written? Who do you think Britney has written for? Let me know in the comments. Um, I love you all so much. I'm so grateful and thankful for each and every one of you. I don't take any of you guys for granted. I hope you guys know that I am so incredibly thankful and grateful for each and every one of you guys. You, you really, Really, really really are such amazing amazing souls i'm so thankful for you i'm so happy that um i am calling the the contest winners i have uh i have four calls in like half an hour that i'm gonna call so i'm so excited for that and i'm just very grateful and thankful for each and every one of you and i'll see you guys in my next video Mwah. bye